Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to the channel. I am Jatera Brianna. Thank you so much for tuning into this nail tutorial. Super excited because we are trying nail charms or jams, whatever you want to call it, for the very first time. So while I get into prepping my nails, let's talk about how I was so scared to try this out. I didn't know if it was going to give 8th grader a cunt, but it's kind of giving cunt. I'm, I kind of like it. So, I trim my nails down because FYI, my skin grows along with my nails. And it can get very painful. And then I buff them. You have to do prep if you want your press on nails to last for a really long time. A lot of people always ask how long do they last me. They last me 3 to 4 weeks because I do this prep. So I trim my nails, I buff them, that helps get rid of the natural oils, and then I press down my cuticle with this little tool right here. This is going to make sure that your press-on nail attaches to the base of your nail bed. This is going to prevent them from lifting and it's going to make sure that your nails last over time. So once you push back your cuticles, it kind of builds up that skin. You want to make sure you get rid of them. I like to use this tool to get rid of all that dead skin, cuticle buildup, because it's really safe. I don't know what it's called, but it's honestly my favorite tool to use. So let's pause the tutorial for a quick show and tell of how to get to my Amazon storefront. If you click on any of my full length videos, all you have to do is go to the description box. You will see something that says Amazon storefront. Click on that link. It will take you to everything that I purchased from Amazon. And the first option is my nail care list. This has everything I have ever purchased, including the press ones, the jams, things to take care of my natural nails, everything. So going back to removing this nasty dead skin, you just wanna make sure that you are grooming your natural nails because one, you need it, and two, it will help the overall look. Once you do all that buffing, you're gonna have a ton of residue on your fingers, so you wanna make sure that you remove that. I like to take that off with a little bit of alcohol, and then I'm gonna follow it up with a nail dehydrator. Okay, if you have problems with your nails lasting, it's probably because you have a lot of natural oils on your nails that you didn't remove prior to adding the press ones. These are the infamous press ones. I love them. They are the X coat tips. Now, I do have a discount code from BT Art Box in my description box as well, but these are also on Amazon if you just want to get everything from Amazon. So I'm sizing my nails, making sure that they fit my nail from side to side. If you have any of your natural nails showing underneath your nails, they're not going to last. This is the glue that you need. This is, this right here, she is that girl. This is what you need. If you don't get anything else, get this. It is the Kiss Pink Gel Nail Glue. It's the only glue I will ever use, okay? Now, something that has been my holy grail is using the edge of a table to apply my nails. You need something that you can grip your little nails on while you're applying them. Application is key. You also want to put enough glue. I like to do two big dots, and I spread them out. And I make sure that my nail is coated with glue. I would rather have more than not enough glue. Even if it seeps out on the ends, you can just remove it later. And then you apply the nail at an angle. I'm talking 45 degrees. Apply it at an angle. Use a lot of pressure. Make sure that the glue spreads all throughout underneath the nail and then hold it. You gotta have patience if you want your nails to last long. Every single problem that you guys put in my comments, I have a solution. You just have to follow these steps. So this is just straight application. Like who you know press ones look like this. 
let's get into it so now it's time to file you got to get rid of that little bump at the top of your nail for sure these nails specifically give me square they're very much so square i like a tapered look so i'm going in on both sides just so we can fit my little itty bitty fingers a little bit better and then i like to take down the top as well it kind of gives it an arch at the top if you can see so again i filed i buffed i have to go in with some alcohol and remove all that residue and now it is time to apply the gems this is the glue that i am using i believe you pronounce it mac art i don't know but it's this glue it's on my amazon storefront I'm basically testing this out for you guys. So far, I've only had my nails known for two days, but this rhinestone glue is amazing. My nails are not budging at all. So right here, I'm just playing around with how I want the gym to be positioned. And I'm going in with some tweezers to help me apply because I do have nails on each hand and it was a little difficult picking them up. Now this glue is a little tricky when it comes out because it's very thick and it kind of lingers on it doesn't just automatically stop once you stop pressing it out i don't know how to explain it so basically what i've done is just wrap the glue around until it kind of breaks off the string and then i simply apply the gem to where i want it to be i will say that as you move the gems move the glue doesn't get tacky automatically until you cure you want to make sure that you're carrying for a long time and make sure that your gem is perfectly placed because as soon as you put your hand under the light, it will cure and it will not move. I watched some tutorials before I did mine and everyone says to apply a lot of rhinestone glue. Even if it looks janky when you're initially applying it, it's going to look better once you add your top coat later. So add a lot of glue, take your time placing the gem. Make sure it's in the right place before curing, and then cure for a good two to three minutes. I know that is a lot of UV light. Amazon has gloves that you can put on your hands as well if that is a concern of yours. So now we are at the final step. It is time to apply the top coat. You want to make sure that you apply a generous amount. Not only does it give the nails a really nice shine, it also camouflages the amount of rhinestone glue that you added when applying the gems. You also want to make sure that you go around every single nook, cranny, and crevice because you don't want to have any dry patches. I'm not going on top of the gem because I think that will make it look clunky and it probably would give get rid of the the little fake diamond shine if you will so don't go directly on top of the gym just go around it and then make sure that you cure for i would say a good 60 to 90 seconds and then you're done they look so good i ended everything with a little bit of finishing oil this one is from truly beauty it's not an actual cuticle oil though I would suggest using cuticle oil, but I rub that in and these nails are taking it, honey. I thought I was going to hate them. I actually like them. Now, I will say I won't be doing this 24-7 because they are a lot. They're not professional at all. I have to go into work next month. So we don't know how long these are going to last, but they are super fun, super cute, super unique for right now. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, make sure you give me a like and comment any questions or comments that you have down below. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, mamas. Mwah.